The first method a business can use to calculate the depreciation of its assets is the straight line method. The calculation you need to know to do this is the historic value of the asset minus the residual value divided by the expected life of the asset. This itself means nothing without an example. So, a bakery buys a new asset in the form of a new van to deliver its products to its customers. They purchase this van brand new for £30,000. This is the van's historic value. The historic value is the value of the asset when initially purchased. They expect the van to sell at the end of its use for £10,000. This is the van's residual value. Residual value is the value of the asset when it's disposed of by the business, i.e. sold on. Finally, they plan on using the van for four years. This is the van's expected life. The expected life of an asset is how many years the business expects to have the asset before it's sold on or disposed of. These numbers are then put into the calculation above. £30,000 minus £10,000 equals £20,000 divided by 4. This equals £5,000. This means that the depreciation of the van each year for a duration of 4 years is £5,000. This figure is a yearly expense to the business and is recorded as depreciation on a statement of comprehensive income.